this goes down in the spirit of Leffen. We'll see how this goes down for these two players here. Starting off top 128 winner. Still best of five for you guys. All right, Zachary starting things out the square. Let's see what he can do here. I really want to see what he's going to do with these low versions where Squirtle's combo game is so incredible. And uh, something else about Shulk is so interesting that we saw right there. Switching to the shield dart to just disrupt the combos. Shulk being able to do that much easier in this game just messes up a lot of these low version streaks that characters want to go for. Yeah, and I'm, I'm seeing exactly how this matchup, specifically Squirtle and Shulk, is going to go. He's got the range to be able to beat out Squirtle, but Squirtle's got the speed, so if he can invade and get those combos, and Shield Art's not available, then Squirtle can get some good damage. And now we're switching to the Ivy Star. Big setups coming in here. The Vine Whip comes out, and another oh, opportunity gets the Tipper, and that's going to get that kill. Nico DIing in on the down throw there, trying to avoid getting hit by the uh, earlier setup, but still going to beat the stock. Morning, the Smash right here. Seeing the guard, he's gonna get the tether with Ivysaur. Towards the roll, the buster that's huge percent from Shulk. Oh, I guess I need to keep him off though. Nice, huge alert from Zachary covering it into the up air, applying so much pressure in the air. Yeah, I like the choice going to the speed art. You don't want to let Ivysaur set up into their Razor Leaf zoning. So being able to be able to invade Ooh. his space is going to be critical. And he got the ledge control and the smash art fair. That's going to be one of the big ways Nico takes out these stocks, I'm sure. All right, let's see what Zachary can do with the Charizard here. I, uh, yeah, I don't want to see him stay in Charizard too long against Sword character like uh, Shulk. He's going to take tons of percent. Back to the Squirtle here. Yeah, as soon him. as he goes in mid percent, pretty much should be optimal to go to Ivysaur. Let's yeah. see what he goes for here. He's facing out, but just beats him out in the air to air. Okay, so the jumps going to go for the down throw here. Not able to chase him too far off the stage. With that added aerial mobility of jump, that's what makes Shulk really scary if he can just force you off stage at like these mid percents. Mm -hmm. Just zoning him out. Trying to catch a uh, jump with that up air. Not quite going to be able to find anything. And now he's in shield art. Yeah, he be. definitely needed the shield art there to avoid dying to that down throw up B again. Smash art's back online. See if he goes for the fairy. Yeah, he's trying to space out those aerials. I mean, Ivysaur's kind of a sword character too, so he's got the range to be able to deal with Shulk. So let's see. The recovery. Oh, a high recovery from Charizard. Yeah, very unsafe service. You guard Volvo when you touch the stage. Ooh, not gonna connect on Nico. Getting all the punishments here at the ledge. Goes high, and Nico covers it with the air slash. I I definitely don't agree with that extended playtime with Charizard off the stage. It's very easy for Shulk to hit him in that situation. Yeah, that was just difficult. He threw out that Vine Whip. I'm not so sure if he just didn't think that it wouldn't tether there, so that was just a bad position for him to be in. Then he switched to Charizard trying to get that Flare Blitz, and then he just kind of put himself bad position into bad position. But that's more on Charizard, just not having the greatest recovery options, being a little linear when he's that far out uh, horizontally from the stage. Nico though looking so strong here at the ledge, goes into the Smash Shard, not going to cover the roll, but still swat him to the other side of the stage. Goes deep. Mind with making his recovery a little bit easier. See if he can get an edge guard here. Nico with the backslash, that new backslash being able to clip the ledge. Much easier in this game, makes it, uh, Shulk's recovery option much more uh, versatile. Yep. Oh, just able to read that roll, gets that fair. Zachary right, with a big opportunity, but that jump art, yeah, he has so many mix-up options. As long as he has the arts available, that's going to be so scary for Zachary to have to deal with. Oh, the back here from Deep. Nico tried to slice him out, get that last lock either, but the F tilt cover the roll perfectly. Nico with the JV on the first game, really solid stuff from Nico. Shutting down the Pokemon Trader relatively well here. Yeah, SoCal defending their turf right now. Taking the first game off Zachary, that's no small feat. Oh yeah, Zachary is an amazing player with so many characters at such a young age. So, uh, yeah, I always wonder, like, when Zachary's character doesn't work out, I always wonder what his mindset is with, like, the switches go. Because his wolf is still incredible, and uh, as long as his other characters too, but... He also has a lot of confidence in his picks as well. Like, even if he wins the, or loses the game, he doesn't necessarily immediately switch. Mm -hmm. He tries to give it another shot, and then if that doesn't work, then he'll try to, like, clutch it back with, like, another character switch. Yeah. It's kind of funny to see. <laughs> just, yeah, I remember the beginning of Genesis. Zachary was just still very, very calm, collected. Didn't barely move out of his seat. He still has that relaxed look, but you do see slightly more emotion <laughs> coming out of Zachary now. He's, start, he's starting to crack a little bit and, you know, just showing that he's thinking. He's, like trying to calm himself down, so maybe by the end of the year we'll get a smile from Zachary. <laughs> Sticking with the Pokemon trainer. Knows that he can uh, adjust here with his gameplay. Doesn't necessarily need to rely on the Wolf or Wario or like have seen that just yet. Maybe take this game with Pokemon trainer, see how he can figure out how Nico is playing and adapt accordingly. Mm -hmm. 
Again, it's just range versus frame data here. Squirtle's being able to evade, but yeah, just every time he switches to a different art, it forces Zachary to respect him so he doesn't get that opportunity and he has to find another one. And then by the time that he gets that next neutral exchange, that shield art might be back. Yeah, it's very tricky, especially when you're like, have muscle memory for these low percent combos. You're used to just getting these specific damage setups at low percent, but then Shulk immediately gets out of it. Then we throws you for a loop, but Nico, working really well here. The switch between the Monado arts is just so tricky to get around. Once you think you adapt to one of them, you just switch to another one, he changes the play style. Yeah, and I mean, Nico's just able to flow so seamlessly between all the arts and be able to change his play styles accordingly, depending on what he has available. Very smart and it's very difficult to do as a Shulk main. Okay, back off the stage here. Nico's gonna wait out a jump, maybe. Oh, there's the smash of the ledge. You don't want to be here at this meet. Yeah, Rizak is gonna roll center stage. Doesn't want to get forward air to like air side, but the landing gets caught by the dash attack. That move is very strong on its own, but added bonus knockback with the smash art makes it even more deadly. And now he's gonna try to make it work with the Charizard. Don't necessarily agree with this right now because Nico's getting Tons of damage on his big body. Okay, yeah. Buster Art is going to go away. Gets that speed art back. Oh, man, that Charizard is staying for a very long time. I don't think Leffen would approve that much. <laughs> but <laughs> he's taking up with the spacing, and he's not getting those straight hits he needs. Charizard still staying on. I'm just, I'm just waiting to see when the Squirtle will come back out. But it looks like he's sticking with it. And Nico's riding that all the way to the bank, already getting 56% off of it. And still no kill from Zach right here to f close off this first stock. Yeah, Struggling so much with the charge right here. Now he has to smash our 75 is kill percent. This mode is insanely powerful for Shulk. Back air covering the roll. Charge our big body made that even easier to cover. And a big Nair just sets up into the combo. Got that potential ledge trap. Tries to go ham with that Buster right into the fair. Not quite gonna be able to find it though. But still, three stocks on Nico. Zachary on his last one. Not too often did you get to see someone potentially three stock Zachary of all people. But Nico, man, such a highly respected representative of this character. But the falling up air is enough to finally get that first stock. Nico, though, doesn't look worried at all. Again, the switch to the shield are just messing up his timing so much. I mean, he tried to wait out for him to land and then potentially get another combo because he knew that the shield art was going to come out, but just landing with the aerial, there's just three mix-ups on top of each other exactly. right there. Exactly, it's so hard to guess in that situation. 105 in the smash art. Nico so close to closing out this game. Back at the ledge again, he's going to time out the smash right here. Just wants to make it. Oh my goodness, just didn't time it. Off stage again, he's just going to close it out. Nowhere to go. I mean, just in Huge. general. Ivysaur is kind of difficult for him to get back. Usually he has to commit to drop out and then jump back up and get a Razor Leaf or something. But that time around, Nico just called it out before he could even come out. And Nico, up 2-0. Very strong. On so Zachary. He's living up to being number two in Soka right now. And uh, I just feel like the, the buffs to Shulk in this game rewarded him so much because he was dedicated Shulkman in Smash 4 and was doing insanely well with a character that just wasn't that great, honestly. So... Carrying over all that skill from uh, the previous game into now an incredibly good Shulk. Uh, he's been working wonders for him. That's why he's been playing so well in this game. Yeah, exactly. Sticking with the Shulk one more time. I don't know why <laughs> Shazaka's looking at his hand like that. <laughs> but okay. Wario? I mean, the only time I've ever seen him switch to Wario was when he was fighting ZD at Frostbite. Mm. And he did lose that set, so. Yeah, that is true. But the wolf is out. Okay. Zachary's kind of uh, claim to fame here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, had the highest placing wolf at Genesis uh, 6. So we'll have to see how it goes, though, because that this wolf also has uh, lost sets. Uh, the, the one that comes to mind is ZD, losing to ZD's Fox, and then pulled out the Wario to try to bring it back around. And already getting the damage, but Zachary doing a lot better. Just be able to intercept air to air combat much easier with this character. Yeah, he just looks so much smoother. Covers the jump perfectly. Positions the back air in the right spot. Yeah. Strong first stock for Zachary. Mm -hmm. Nico's still hyped up though. He's got himself like he gets that FGC head nod and he knows. <laughs> it's like, alrighty, this is how this wolf is gonna play. Right. I'm gonna be able to intercept that. Nice, delays the forward air, continuing these combos that Wolf is just so well known for. So many great arrows that just link into his kit like almost perfectly. Yeah. Again, some of the better top two, especially when you're a great player because he rewards fundamentals so much, but that fundamental uh, SD from Zachary, uh, yeah, I mean, that was just Nico. That was just called fear, man. Yeah. <laughs> oh, shoot, there's a Smash Heart Shulk in my face. Yeah. I better get away from here. And there's nowhere for Wolf to go. If he can't get the, in the range for his recovery, then that's uh, considered a poor recovery, yeah. Once it's actually out, then it's difficult to intercept. 
you know, really good awareness from Nico covering that with the great hitboxes of Shulk. Gonna try and space around. Zachary still on the chase right here. Chase oh, oh no, not quite. There's the back air out again. It's still another stack for Zachary. Nico slowly getting back into the game, but Zachary just keeping his lead. Yep. The consistent play. Nice. I, I think he's fine with the shield art, uh, Shulk coming out for his low percent combo because he still stays in a good position where he can punish, even though he doesn't get like extended like damage and combos that he normally gets. Mm -hmm. I think in general, just the way Zachary is playing, I think he's trying to call out Nico on the startup of a lot of his moves. That's still a weakness that Schultz has. A decent startup on a lot of stuff. And if he throws out those quick aerials before he can even come out of shield, that's usually where he's been able to get a lot of damage. Oh, the force smash comes in there. The fair strings into the back air still, even with the shield art. Big opportunity for Zachary to come back, though. Down tilt. I'm looking for a down smash potentially here. No. That episode is also really scary, too. <laughs> we forgot that his tilts also kill. Mm -hmm. Smash Art is out. Okay. Will he clip at the ledge? Not quite, but still got the ledge control, but he's going to be able to space out of that and get that shield grab. He patiently doesn't punish the air slash, though, but throws him in the air. Nico's going to use the jump art to retreat to the other side of the stage. Gets a forward air. Oh, super deep. Before he can even start his up B, he just slices him out of the air. 119% on Nico. And now we're just one Nico stock away from him, potentially taking it 3 0. Oh, oh, but yeah, catches just the jump out of shield. Yeah, exactly. That's what I'm talking three, about. All three stocks taken with back air. Mm -hmm. Before he could even get like a jump nair or jump back air out of shield, call him out on the startup, get that back air so quick from Wolf. That's able to intercept him and take out the first game. Finally, putting Zachary on the board here. Yeah, uh, kind of what I was uh, expecting him to, you know, two games with the Pokemon Trainer, feel it out, see how it works. And if it doesn't work out, just switch to the Wolf character you uh, probably have the most practice with and uh, go from there. I mean, that's still a scary position to put yourself in yeah. <laughs> after you got blown up on that first game as your trainer. You don't want to go down 2-0, but Zachary, one of those players that is so good at keeping his composure and cool that I'm sure that he's not too worried about it. And we're going back to Stadium 2. We'll see how it goes. SoCal still sticking behind Nico, and we got a big crowd here. Everyone wants to see who's going to come out on top. Yeah, it's uh, great for Nico that he did get those first two games because the nature of a best of five, even though he dropped that to Zachary's Wolf, he has more games to just adapt and figure out how uh, Zachary's playing here. He's doing the Ken where he oh. puts his hand <laughs> on his heart and does like a deep breathing. <laughs> I miss that guy. Hope he comes back to the U.S. soon. Yeah, Charles the Ken still putting in work with the Sonic in this game. Yeah. But we got PS2 here from Nico. Really comfortable pick for a lot of people in this game. It's a pretty well-rounded stage overall. Mm -hmm. All right, big combo. Gonna get that shield art though. Need an intercept. Blow for blow for both of these players actually. Oh. Great dash attack. Yeah, uh, gotta be careful using the Buster R at low percent because you do get added damage when you get hit by your opponent. Mm -hmm. And character like Wolfie has such good combos, it can uh, be really bad for you. Yeah, it's pretty scary. Oh, oh. that back here again! Like you said, calling out the startup on these jumps and uh, aerials from Nico. Throwing at that really strong hitbox before the animation can even come out has been really uh, Zachary's claim to fame to get these stocks. Oh, oh the, the air, air slash, slash though, covers high. Air dodge is out. Ooh. Oh, but the wolf flash very high. Comes back to the stage just fine. Never mind. <laughs> the ledge trap. Nico's able to come back around. Nice angle on the uh, up B there. He gets a slight poke to make him force the shield. And uh, I think it's great that he's using his up B's and his angle because if he does the side B, it's pretty easy to cover because uh, the hitbox pokes over the ledge. There we go, Air Slash out of shield. Still not able to do it, but he's got Smash Art available. Tries to use the up tilt, not gonna be able to do it. The extra knockback might have disrupted that uh, down throw combo from Zachary. Now he's got another opportunity. Poke from the ledge with the Firewolf. So good from Zachary, staying alive on this stock. He's gonna try and get a ledge over for the stock, but catches it with the forward air really strong. Only taking 26%. Zachary readjusts himself in the seat. And then you got Devi even game here. Nice, there into the throw, pin him on the ledge, exactly where he wasn't covering all these options. Catches the high full flash as well, he go getting tons per stint, but just covered by Zachary's combo here too. Buster are really working in Nico's favor, man. That added damage just makes his hits hit so much harder. Yeah, all rolling through, just trying to mix up how he comes back to save. No more jump oh. aerials anymore, he's been intercepted by that back air too many times. Now we got a smash art, the back air, not quite going to connect, but he's still got it available. Plenty of time for him to catch him, and he gets him with the fair right there. Covering that roll. Nico slowing down the game, but the force smash it tried to land on top of him with the aerial. Wolf force smash saying, No, thank you. Yeah, 
Again, another dead even game. Last stock potentially for Zachary in his winner's bracket. Nico trying to keep up with that momentum. Gets 45% already for his troubles. And the Buster Art is online. Just trying to space right outside where Wolf can't punish out of shield. But he's going to get intercepted there with that Nair. Oh. And that fair is not going to come. But that shield pressure again. Yeah, a little he's bit of a scramble there. He's too scared of what Zachary was going to pull out before the back air or Nair could come out from Nico. And he intercepts him with the Nair. Picks him with the up tilt. Oh, the falling there, really good. Zachary not contained to an air dodge. Gets the backslash straight to the ledge. Zachary covering, try to go for a jump. Nico doesn't fall for it. Oh, catch him with the ending of the neutral air. The backers are so scary. That pressure just conditions him into shield. And he gets another grab for his troubles on that roll because he doesn't want to jump back to the stage. But there it is. He has a shield art. He tries to come back around. 135% on the Nico. Oh. So scary for him. And he's got to be wary of that up smash. Zachary is looking for an anti air, but the up air is dead. Nico switching to jump art, trying to use that added mobility to just jump to center stage. Zachary covering it perfectly with the up air, bringing this to game five. Zachary popping off? Did oh, yeah. I saw it. <laughs> I saw it, man. He's, I don't blame him, dude. He's coming back from a reverse 3 0 position. He's one of the best shulks to do it right now. <laughs> Yeah, it's just one of those scenarios where the Wolf was doing so good at making Shulk play a different game. You're seeing the rolls more from the ledge, no more jumping aerials from the stage, and he can't do his out-of-shield options, so he's stuck there in shield a lot more, for a lot more time. So Zachary has a lot more opportunities to try and catch him with like a grab, or just delay and just bait out a roll or something like that. And Zachary is just taking it all the way to the bank here. We're going to game five here. Here we go, FD coming out here from Nico. He wants to add his space to just wall out his uh, hitbox is a little bit easier. They, uh, they do have startup, but if you have more room on the stage to just throw them out safely, it can be a lot easier for him to get the uh, moves out he wants. Oh, here's the low person combo here. Up throw up there. Yeah, Wolfman, he's just... Oh my goodness, Zachary, what a hit confirm. Sends him off stage with the neutral air, showing the deadly potential of Wolf and yeah. these crazy combos, man. Yeah, the Ken combo, man. <laughs> this is not the character you expected to ha work with, but that's going to be a big opportunity for Zachary. And now he's gonna trying to steamroll Nico. Already getting 64% on this next stock. He's sticking with the Buster Art, but he's taking on a lot more damage because of it. Can he close out this stock node now that he has the ledge control? We'll have to see, but he comes back, landing with the neutral air. Still keeps up the control, though. Gets that back throw. He has to do something to get the stock off. That was such an early stock for Zachary. And using the character that's much slower as far as like hitboxes go as a Schultz, it can be really rough for him to make something happen against Wolf. But off stage here, the air slash catching the Wolf flag only taking 84%. Yeah, and that air slash, if you know that your opponent's going to go low, such great coverage because you can catch them trying to go immediately high with their recovery and a bunch of other stuff. But here we go. Up throw. Not going to be able to get anything, but still catches that jab at the end of it. Even Zachary is just waiting out the shield art too. He says, you know what, I know I can't really do much to kill you right now. I'm going to wake you up. But again, another back air catch. Nico jumps preemptively. One taking 8%. Huge lead right now yeah, for Zachary. Just, just a big story of frames. Back air to back air. Wolf is going to beat it out if they both start at the same time. We'll have to see. Oh, the parry. Yes. Just catching the timing on how Shulk wants to land with these aerials as well. The string, not quite going to connect for Nico though. And Zachary oh, just steamrolling right here to the up air juggles. Not letting him do anything out of the jump bar right now. Great stuff from Zachary, just adapting so hard. Oh, the cheekiness oh. of Zachary. That might come back to haunt him. Nico is a person that you never want to give a chance to make a comeback. Yeah, the Nico stock could come at any moment now. We're going to get another up throw. Will he be able to get the jungle? The jump is out. The back air, not able to intercept. Actually crosses oh. him up. Gets that Huge down tilt. damage from the Buster Art. 40% in the air. Big opportunity. Going to land in shield just in time to be able to avoid that aerial. All right, nice. He knows Nico's scared and wants to shield at this person. He's going to get the free throw. We're back. We're back and shield the ledge, but immediately switches down to the art. Jump. Oh, Zachary trying to figure out his way oh, in. Intercepts him with the nair, though. The jump art going to allow him to go low. But the ledge traps from Wolf, oh, of course. Nice very razor. strong. How does oh. he come back? Nice. Swings with the forward air, trying to make something happen. But the up tilt so big. Big pop off from Zachary. Reverse. 3-0 with the Wolf, taking it over Nico. I know he's disappointed. Oh, Had the stand man. in the back, but Zachary's coming back. A Moving hard, on in the winner's bracket. A heartbreaker right yeah. there. Zachary going to be able to take it. You know that Nico really wanted it to rep SoCal here yeah. back at home, but not quite going to.